In the novel, Wuthering Heights, a man named Lockwood is a tenant at Thrushcross Grange. On a stormy day, he becomes ill and asks for the housekeeper, Nellie, to tell him the story of Heathcliff and his manor, Wuthering Heights. Nellie starts from the beginning. Mr. and Mrs. Earnshaw lived at Wuthering Heights with their two children, Henley and Catherine. One day, Mr. Earnshaw took a journey to Liverpool and returned with a dark hair, dark-skinned orphan named Heathcliff. Catherine grew fond of the boy, while Henley learned to despise him. Henley was sent to college and for three years, and, late, and three years later, Mr. Earnshaw died. Henley returned for the funeral with a wife and a thirst for revenge for Heathcliff. Henley forced Heathcliff to work as a common laborer. One night, while Catherine and Heathcliff were wandering in the moors, they came across Thrushcross Grange. While on the grounds, Catherine was bit by a dog and had to stay for five weeks to recover. The Lintons taught her, taught her to be a proper young lady, and Catherine started to become infatuated with Eg Edgar. Heathcliff and Catherine's relationship then grew complicated. Then Henley's wife died after the birth of their son Harriton, and Henley became an alcoholic and was even crueler to Heathcliff. Catherine got engaged to Edgar for his status and wealth, even though she loved Heathcliff. Heathcliff le left for three years after they got married and came back with a significant amount of wealth. He aimed to give retribution to those who did him wrong. He got back at Henley by lending him money, knowing that Henley would accrue a massive debt and he would be able to inherit Wuthering Heights once Henley died. Heathcliff then married Isabella Linton to put himself in a place where he can inherit Thrushcross Grange. At Thrushcross Grange, Nellie served as Catherine's daughter's nursemaid for 13 years. Catherine's daughter, Catherine, had no knowledge of Wuthering Heights until she ran into it while wandering in the moors. She met Harriton there and played with him. Later, Isabella died and Linton, Heathcliff's son, went to live at Wuthering Heights. Linton was sick and Heathcliff did nothing to help him. A few years later, Catherine visited Linton. They rode each other and snuck off to see each other every day and fell in love. It turned out that Linton was pursuing Catherine against his will. Heathcliff forced them to wed so he could take possession of Thrushcross Grange and get revenge on Edgar. Edgar and Linton died and Heathcliff had control of Wuthering Heights and Thrushcross Grange, which he was now renting out to Lockwood. At the end of Nellie's story, Lockwood is disgusted and leaves Thrushcross Grange. He, come, he came back six months later to visit Nellie and learned that Heathcliff had gone mad and died, and Catherine and Hareton had fallen in love and were about to get married.